In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Drive. So I'm going to be showing you everything from uploading files to sharing files with other people, everything you basically need to know about setting up and using the Google Drive. So the Google Drive is basically just a cloud storage space where you can upload your files from your computer. And rather than taking up valuable space on your PC, all of these files and folders are going to be saved into the cloud, into your Google Drive. And it means you can go and delete files from your computer and just basically have access to them via the Google Drive. And it also makes things like sharing these files with other people and between different computers a lot easier. So to go and get started, we just need to head over to an internet browser and we're going to head over to the website google.com forward slash drive and then press enter. Now once you're on this page here you have two different options you can either sign in to your personal gmail account or you can click on try the drive for work. Essentially these two options here are exactly the same so all we need to do is go and create ourselves a google account. Now I'm going to click on this blue sign in button and by now you probably already have a google account if you have something like gmail or youtube then effectively all you'll need to do is go and sign in with your Google account. Obviously, if you don't have an account, you can click create account and then just go through the steps to create a free Google account. Now, once you have your Google Drive account, you're going to see a window, something similar to this. Now, an easy way to get over to your Google Drive is just by making sure you're logged into your Google account. Click on the square icon in the top right hand side and then just select a drive from the list. Now, to get started, I recommend clicking on new in the top left hand side and clicking on new folder. Now, what we can do is go and create different folders in our Google Drive to start organizing all the files that we're about to upload. So, for example, I could go and create a new folder called photos and click on create. You can do the same thing by creating folders for your work or for your videos. You can basically make as many folders as you want in your Google Drive. And this works in the same way that you would organize files on your personal computer. You could also create folders inside of folders. So let's say I wanted to make subfolders in this photos one here. You can just double click on the photos folder and then you can go and create new folders inside of this folder that we're already in. So this could be good if you have different albums for your photos, for example. You you just go and create different ones inside of here. Now, the next thing we have, if we click on new in the top left hand side, we're going to have a few different options here, such as file upload and folder upload. So you can upload individual files to your Google Drive. You can also upload entire folders as well from your computer. And then you have Google Docs, Sheets, Slides and Forms. And these are basically built in tools by Google that let you do things such as create Word documents, Excel documents. But for now, we're just going to leave these sections down here and just focus on file upload. So I'm going to start by clicking file upload and go and locate the file or the files that you want to upload to your Google Drive. Now, you could just select a file individually like this, or if you want to upload multiple files, you can just make a big selection around the files that you want to go and upload to your Google Drive. Now, once you've selected your file, just click on open in the bottom right hand side and it's going to start uploading this to your Google Drive. Once it's finished uploading we can then organize this into our different folders so you can do that just by dragging the file into the folder where you want this file placed and as you can see now this video has ended up in my photos folder. You can also right click on the file as well. You can click on organize and you can move it by using this tool here and you can just go and select the folder where you want to go and move this to. So let's say I wanted to put it back into the main drive I can click on move and just like that it's going to be sent across. Now to get back over to the home page of your Google Drive, we can always click on this My Drive button. That's always going to take us to the main home screen. You also have different ways to organize these files by clicking on either the list layout or the grid layout. Now with the grid layout, you can see the different thumbnails for your files. So it's going to show the previews of what these files look like, or we can just keep it to list view. And this is a slightly different view. It's going to show things such as last modified, which can sometimes be helpful to go and locate your files. So now once you've uploaded all of your files from your computer over to your Google Drive, this is essentially going to be stored in the cloud on this Google Drive. So you can then go and delete the files from your computer and save space on your computer. And you're always going to be able to access these files just by logging into your Google account and you'll be able to access all of these documents, these files on all of your different devices, or you can just choose to keep a version both on your computer and the Google Drive itself. Now, another thing we can do is go and share these files with other people. So to do that, you just need to right click on the file that you want to go and share. We can click on the share button and click share. 
And then what you can do is invite people to go and access this file just by typing in their email address in this field here. Once you've added their email address, you can decide which access they have to this file. So if you just want them to be able to view these files, select viewer. But if you want them full access, if this was a Word document or something like that, you may want to grant them editor permission so they can also come in and edit these different files. Now, another way to invite someone or to share these files is down where it says general access, we can click on the drop down arrow and you can change this to anyone with the link. And now if I click on this copy link button and click done, I can basically just go and share this link to anyone who I want to go and access this photo. So for example, if I go and paste in that link to an internet browser, you can see it takes me directly over to this file and this person will then be able to download and view this file that we've just sent them. You can also have other people share files with you and all of these files are usually located in shared with me in the left hand side and any other files that people have shared with you is going to show up in this window here. Now down in the bottom left hand side, you're going to see the the amount of storage on your account. So every account comes with 15 gigabytes of free storage that you can use. If you do end up using this 15 gigabytes, you can always click on get more storage and just upgrade your storage plan. And that's basically the quick rundown of how you use Google Drive and how you can share your files. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you with the next one.